Well, thank you all. Thank you for that uh, wonderful, warm welcome. And let me, uh, let me thank Mark Holmes for his kind introduction, but I also want to thank Tori Bruno of the United Launch Alliance for the other introduction. I haven't gotten two good introductions at a single event in a long time. Give them both a big round of applause. They are uh, important voices in this industry, and they're great friends. It's a great honor to be with all of you today. Amazing to think with the job numbers that just came out, 5.8 million new jobs created over the last two and a half years, including more than 260,000 jobs in the month of April alone. I'm proud to report, and I want to thank the companies that are represented here in those numbers, that more Americans are working today than ever before, and our technology industry is helping lead the way for renewed American prosperity. In just the last week, the world watched in wonder as Blue Origin and SpaceX proved once again that private pioneers will help us cultivate the vast expanses of low Earth orbit and explore the furthest reaches of space. We are proud of our private space industry in the United States of America. As President Trump said memorably once, rich guys love rockets. <laughs> and our administration has been absolutely committed to making sure that our space entrepreneurs have the flexibility, the predictability, to be able to make investments and help lead and transform uh, our impact in space, particularly when it comes to low Earth orbit. But do you know, to fully unlock the mysteries of space, the President recognizes that we have to look beyond the halls of government beyond NASA for input and guidance. That's why we assembled this user advisories group of the National Space Council, which I'm proud to say has brought together some of the, the brightest minds and biggest talents in the country to help accelerate innovation across the space enterprise. And we're honored to be joined here today by several members of the UAG, so I'd like to give you a chance to thank them for the incredible contributions they're making to the life of our nation. You already heard from Tori Bruno. But also, join me in thanking Gwen Shotwell, Bob Smith, and Tim Ellis. Would you all just stand up and take a bow? These people are working around the clock. You know, American companies are the cutting edge of the space industry, developing new rockets, spaceships, satellites, and technologies that are taking us further into space faster than ever before. And under the President's leadership, we're also working, I want to assure you, to make it easier than ever for trailblazing companies like yours to be able to succeed and prosper. We've been streamlining the licensing regimes that oversee launch reentry and new commercial operations in space, removing unnecessary regulations that have increased cost and stifled innovation. We've also developed our nation's first comprehensive space traffic management policy to help you navigate the thousands of satellites and other man-made objects orbiting the Earth at this very moment express my warm welcome to each of you back to Washington, D.C. for this satellite conference. And I have to tell you, I'm absolutely confident when I look at all the great companies represented here that the best days for America, the best days for American leadership in space, and the best days for extraordinary technological advances far beyond anything we could ask or imagine are still ahead. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank <laughs> you.